Hey Scrappers, Tom here, creator of the iScrap app and also a scrapyard owner. In the next few videos, you're gonna see all types of market recaps for 2023, as well as future predictions and things to just think about in 2024. Now, if you haven't downloaded the app, please download it today so you can report your prices, so you can check prices that are out there, learn about material, get notifications when we have market news, weekly reports, and other type of information that's gonna help you make more money with your scrap. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the different metals and the different categories that we're going to talk about for 2024. Hey Scrappers, Tom here from the iScrap app. And this is gonna be our, our wrap up video for things like rare earth alloys, specialty metals like nickel, stainless steel, and lead. Um, this is brought to us by rrcarbide.com. So if you haven't visited rrcarbide.com, similar to rrcats, giving you the ability to sell things like carbide, ink canal, and other rare earth alloys through the website online with guaranteed price quotes. So check that out and we'll, we'll talk about things as we go. Let's talk about stainless steel. You know, the, the fourth quarter of 2023, I heavily spoke about nickel prices because it affects stainless steel. And nickel prices are very different than like the PGMs, the platinum, palladium, and rhodiums, which is good because they're not only used in one primary sector. You know, nickel could be used in electric vehicle batteries, stainless steel. It could be used in uh, specialty alloys that go into the high earth, high temperature industries. So nickel prices shot down big time in 2023. And you know, I believe that since the beginning of the year, we've seen about a 35 to 40% decline with no upside in sight. Now, after having a increased demand in 2022, to see such a, 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 a reverse of that didn't come as much of a surprise. One reason was those prices in 2022 were shot so high when Russia invaded Ukraine and because Russia is such a big nickel manufacturer and producer, that really affected the prices. So it, it disjointed the markets a little bit. This year, however, we haven't seen that large industry demand. I mean, other than Elon Musk's stainless steel cyber truck out there, I don't see huge new investments in the stainless market that's gonna affect things so we're looking at prices EV vehicles that's gonna be the kicker that is the wild card if some of these manufacturers can harness nickel in substitution of lithium you will start to see the demand for stainless steel and nickel items moving up exponentially as a clean energy push grows whether or not you agree with it really doesn't matter I don't plan on buying an electric vehicle, but that doesn't mean that thousands, if not millions of other people aren't. If they can start to use nickel inside of those EVs, inside of battery storages from clean energy products, projects like solar or wind, you will start to see the demand for nickel increasing. On the reverse side, you will continue to see the demand for lead decreasing. Less lead, you know, think about lead. Where is it used? Not in shower pans anymore. It's used in industrial settings, but the primary use was for lead acid batteries. Whether they were for cars, backups, cell tower backups, power station backups. And as we move away from lead, more nickel and other reusable energy products will be used in these batteries, increasing demands in different ways. Now, rrcarbide.com buys things like nickel, carbide, high-speed steels, so check that website out to be able to learn more about those. We've seen a decreased pricing demand for carbide throughout 2023, but we still saw very strong numbers with numbers going as low as $5.50, but also as high as $8.50 per pound. Then you have other specialty alloys that took a bit of a hit in 2023, like Monel, Inconel, but many of those took hit because they contain nickel. So if nickel prices were higher, those prices would have been higher as well. So these are things to keep in mind and to think about. 
Now, other market concerns? I don't know. You know, markets are going to be up and down as they go. Worldwide growth right now is a little stagnated. So lead, nickel, specialty alloys, you don't see a huge overinvestment or big pieces of market news on those. But what we do see is lots of people report, reporting those prices through the iScrap app. So if you haven't downloaded it or checked out the website, do so. So you can learn what other people are getting for their lead, their soft lead, their car batteries. If nickel prices aren't listed on there, go to RR Carbide and learn more about these markets. This is a new market where you as a scrapper might not find things often, but if you pay attention and listen to what we're talking about, once in a while you're going to find that nugget you're gonna find that customer and we're gonna help you make money because you're gonna know about these products and know about words you know the first time I heard the word Hastaloy I said God bless you to someone because Hastaloy oh I'm sorry excuse me you know so when you learn about the different metals the alloys that are out there it'll help you learn more become smarter make more money and grow your own knowledge so continue to check out our videos Check out the online reports. Um, nickel, you know, who knows where it's gonna go in 2024. If we see that large EV growth, I see nickel being one of the hottest metals for the next 10 years, potentially matching the demand of copper. So there's a little positivity as well. Check out our other videos for our market recaps. And until next time, I'll scrap you later.